sometimes I want to scream out loud. Okay. All of you should just recite the holy name, meditate as much as you can at home and elsewhere, and just want liberation from all the created world. I mean the the shadow created world. The shadow world. That would be the best wish. Nothing else you should wish. Sometimes I want to scream out loud and come to each of your house and scream and say, please wake up. Do not be attached to anything in this world, however beautiful, however alluring, however promising. They are the chain that binds you forever in the cycle of transmigration. Look inside. Just look inside. Inside is the real world. Everything outside here that you can see or you want to look or you want to hold on to are not real. Not real at all. But the more we are attracted to outside, the more we cannot be in the real world. Yes, because I can see sometimes that the human, even some of you, so-called initiates, are still very much attached to whatever outside them. Because you do not go inside enough to, to see the wonder inside. And you, you just see everything outside. And everything outside is created to make you feel that it's real, that it is all there is. And it's so beautiful and wonderful. Of course, it does look like that. But it is not. And I feel so very sorry for all of you, for everyone being so bounded here. They are binding you so tightly that you, you hardly understand. The humans hardly understand where they are and what they're doing. Even though it's all fake, but it's real. It's real because your mind cannot differentiate between the real and the unreal. And whatever happened to you, it feels so real, even in hell or in this world or in any wars or any suffering, any anything at all. It feels so real because the game is so sophisticated, so highly, highly tech, so that we trap in the body, we feel everything real. Even the astral body, it still has a body, so that's why it feels real. Only when you jump over to the fourth world, at least past the three worlds, then the body is more subtle so that the negative power cannot catch it and cannot punish or cannot make use of you for their amusement in any way. I feel so sorry for everyone. It's just a game and just they just push maybe the wrong button or make a little wrong move and they lost, and they get punished, they go to hell or whatever it is. And I feel so sorry, so sorry. There are no words to can express my sorrowful feeling for all beings that is feeling their suffering so much. Just a game and then just made the wrong move. They done nothing wrong at all, just the wrong move in a game. And this terrible game go on forever. At least for you, my so-called disciples, please be diligent. Just keep looking inside. Don't care for the outside. Maybe you can enjoy or you can look, but don't, don't feel too attached to it. Always remember the real life is inside. You have a real life, real, 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 real true life. This life is not yours. Whatever you see outside is not is not what it is. So please just try to remember. Recite the five names. Keep the gift that I give to you more than your life. Treasure it more than your so called physical life here. And meditate and remember well. Always pray for protection and for improvement in spiritual progress. Walk inside to go home 
walk back home. There's nothing here for you. Even if you like anything here, sooner or later, you have to relinquish anyway. So please just do meditate as much as you can, anywhere, anytime you have time. Save any time for gossip, for anything that's unnecessary, just to meditate. One minute, two minutes, they all count. They all add up. Do not bother about the game that's going on in this illusionary world, in this shadow world. Do you understand me? We understand yes. you, Master. Yes. Of course I am there always for you, but you also should always remember where home is. Look inside, okay? See, then you see everything here. There's nothing. All disappear. Nothing at all really exists. So just remember God. Remember liberation. Remember that this world is shadow when you really remember. We just want to go to our true home, liberated from here. That's all. Otherwise you get trapped here forever. Many masters come and go and some souls are still reincarnated here and there because they did not listen to the master and being engrossed, being so captured by this illusionary world and suffer all the time. It's not real. It's like a computer game only. And if you make a wrong move, you'll be in trouble. So there's the only way is that going back inside the, where the master show you the way to go and recite the holy name to protect you and recite the gift to help you to boost more your energy to go up. Okay? Yes, master. Thank you so much, master. Okay. I wish all of you uh, whatever spiritual wish you have come true, okay? For your liberation. Mm. Is there anything more that uh, the disciples can do? I mean, I know we're doing it, but maybe there's something more that we could do. Maybe go out into the streets or I don't know. Oh, Try to wake any people up. group already go out in the streets. It's fall into deaf ear. I affect a handful of people. We have to save time to meditate, to pray. Yes. Each one has different uh, job. Okay, yes. That is a job of other group. Got it, Master. Yeah, they still have to do it, of course. It will influence somehow, some degree. We do different things. We must pray in silence. We must meditate. Okay. For the world to go vegan. World vegan will breed lasting world peace. Will breed benevolent energy for all beings, including humans, and then they won't get such sickness again. Even if they have to go through this sickness now, they turn vegan in the future. We don't have any more pandemic or epidemic anymore. Yes. And meditate enough. That's important. At least four hours a day for you guys. Yes, Master. Otherwise, you cannot uh, function. Yes. So you guys still continue meditating even if you do your work, okay? Yes, Master. And maybe deadline, you miss it, then you have to make it up later. Meditate more. Okay, thank you, yes. Because we have to get out of here. Yes, Master. Even if I can get you out, but I want you to go out in a higher level. Not just out, <laughs> liberated from the three worlds only. Okay, thank you. Also, yes. if you meditate, you can do your job well. You can have also a little blessing into your work as well. Okay, and for yourself. Okay. I just my blessing. And heaven's blessing. Meditate is like eating. You must. Okay? Yes. 我就只能这样说而已，然后也替大家祷告了，还有自己多打坐这样子，不然的话就跟严重嘛，懂不懂啊？啊，OK，不要理所当然，是多打坐也是帮助自己，帮助家人，也帮助国家啊，还有帮助
，我也是很认真的啊,啊。OK， 呀、yeah. <笑>，我也是很认真打坐工作。Our team. So in this lifetime, for you also, it's not easy to have always smooth sailing in your life because many things influence you. Because you practice, so you feel your life much better. Yeah, a lot of miracles happen and things. Big thing becomes small. Yeah, big trouble becomes small. Small trouble become none. And this is okay, very good. Yeah, but trouble don't always come from your karma. Well, in a way, it does because maybe the karma leads you to eat that thing that day, and normally you wouldn't have this trouble. But because you eat that, it's a catalyst to. <laughs> To make trouble for your life, understand now? For that moment, yeah. So sometimes your wife, your kids behave so erratically, some unusual things. You just wait, meditate, give them blessing, yeah. Share your marriage. Then, when that hour, when that minute, that hours pass by, you will be okay. He will be back to usual self. Even between parents and children, between husband and wives, you don't always have good selling. Not just because of her character or your personality, we are just a victim of anything, 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 anything at all. So try to meditate so you can sell over it. Well, now you know. Just try to meditate more, okay, to counter all these obstruction and trouble in your life. We have a heart line from Liu Tong in China. 亲爱的无上师电视台团队，最近我观看无上师电视台《师徒之间》中谜题的故事，师父提到一位中国师姐非常的谦卑，每天打坐十到十二个小时，并且知道师父是谁，我深受感动。师父宣布会带这世界的众生到 Tim c o t o 的灵性新领域，我欢喜跳跃，也更加觉得保持身口一干净。多打坐，多观内在天堂的因，才是真正的爱师父。用智慧和诚心，做灵性相关工作，才是真正帮助世界。六童来自中国。Dear Liu Tong, thank you for sharing your insights on the wisdom you have gained from the Between Master and Disciples episode, the story of Ni De. After speaking of the sister you mentioned, Master said, "The more you meditate, the more humble you become." You realize who you are and who your master is, and how the teaching helps you. Then you'll be more humble, humble, very humble. Yes, sincere and diligent meditation is the key. We are blessed to be able to air Master's lectures so that more beings may benefit from her divine presence on our planet, as well as her love and wisdom. Buddha's light to you and consider it China, Supreme Master TV team. P.S. Master said. Perceptive Liu Tong, good for you that you recognize the essence of true spiritual practice. Please continue this way for your soul's progress. May you and optimistic China thrive in the grace of the Buddhas. We welcome your heart.